okay guys you're welcome again to the channel this is joshua the designer and um we just want to pick up from where we stopped in the last tutorial where i showed you how to go about your orion software establishing your axes inserting your beams your columns your slabs and then having your complete model okay so today i would like to take you through how to um analyze your model and have your designs yes okay so before we go ahead please if you haven't liked our videos i want to encourage you to like our videos and also subscribe to this channel it's a lot of encouragement for us to keep pushing further to bring to you different tutorials that will make you better thank you for that um, so on this note i would like to proceed on the analysis of our model and if you remember we actually produced this in um, the tutorial video that i released and you can check my channel and you find it there um, a complete guide for beginners you find it there so just want to run the analysis for this okay so having done this now then you go to your run and this run you find um, building analysis before you be able to do anything please check your building analysis and um, okay my loading combination is set in case yours is not you can go to your loading generator and um, by pressing ok everything should be all right everything should be all right so i have this okay so i can edit materials now so i want to use the concrete grid i want to use i would like to use um, c20 c25 so i apply to all member types so done already so for my steel i like to use grade 4 410 I apply to all members I have it so for my columns I will have to use only Y16 Y20 and Y25 yes for my walls because I don't have walls is what I want to do so I may not really bother so but for your walls you can just maintain the Y10 Y12 that should be okay. Then for the web, also you can maintain your white end and white 12. That should just be all. Okay, so for the horizontal web don't need all of all of this we don't need all of this just stick to the ones that is necessary and get rid of others so that they don't really give you a lot of issues um, over time okay for my beams i would just like to use my y16 y20 y25 and that will be good enough so for my slabs i would just like to maintain my y12 then I'll just be fine okay for my links I'll just like to use my white ten and nothing else okay so that's it so I just want to move on and um we'll just edit, edit the material so we can before we go into the model before going to the model analysis, I'd like to show you a few things. Sorry, pardon me. I'd like to show you a few things, which is um, the load decomposition by FE. So let's see. So, batch FC, and I run this.
Okay. So you have to hold on till the loads are the transferred from slash to beam. Okay, so I think we have all correct now. So you can continue, then close. So it asks you something after the whole thing. So you have to pay attention to the process. So it's still transferring the loads from slab to the beams. So now wait the beam loads have been calculated for storage okay and you can close it now asks me to either apply to all beams in the current story or apply to the beams in the model so i want to apply to all the beams in the model so i've done that so i can now go back to my building analysis then from my building analysis i go to analysis i do a building model check to be sure if there's an error in my in my modeling and of course there's no error in my modeling so i'm um, safe then i select this select this we select bars we select bars and we start the design for our element design for beams and columns particularly so we have that so let's see the result now so you wait till everything has been designed so that you can go through um sure okay so it's done then let's check our column designs for all storage so you see it passed with reinforcement of 4 by 16 and links of four, um, y10 and 475 so my columns they are well done okay so beam reinforcement designs for For story one okay so i can either filter the axis so that i can only see for only story one element so for story one this is all the bits i have which passed also and um for story two this is all i have the same thing story three okay that's that's very brilliant and um i have this already okay so you see how I just analyzed and designed my structure. So I have my column and I have my beam design. Just as simple as that. So you can just come here and check for your column section designs and you have them. Whatever it is, you have them all correct. So that is how to go about your analysis of your model in Orion. Yes, so subsequent um, tutorials I'll be taking you through many other things on Orion. Please stay with us, like the video, subscribe to this channel and do well to share with your colleagues that should get better with structural engineering. Thank you. Bye.